from South Sudan. Basically, I lived in Juba. And right now I'm in Kampala with my kids. Uh, the elder one, she's five years old. She's, she'll be turning six in August. Um, the other one, her name is Maya Sally. She is turning four in August as well. And uh, she's in nursery. <laughs> On, on that day, um, it was actually early, like around 9-ish, going to 10, and uh, it was the 15th, and people were already like, 15th of December, and people were already like in the celebrative Christmas moods. So, usually in Juba, like once in a while, you'd hear gunshots at night, like exchange between police and, and maybe robbers. So when it started around 9, I, I just thought maybe there was some robbery um, going around in the neighborhood. But then it was going on and on because it's, my house is next to the barracks where everything started. So it was going on and on and on and honestly around Christmas seasons and the experience of being at home after you know being somewhere for so long the peace, the independence, coming back uh, and staying at home. So it was the least in my expectation that anything like that would happen. But well, you know, it, it did happen. So based on the fact that my house is next to the barracks and also that I have the kids with me, I had to check out the next day, stay at some extended relative's place where everybody almost from my family had checked in there. So I thought, just for safety reasons, let me come to Kampala with my kids. I do ask around, I do tell people around, I do look for opportunities also like if I can start a business here to sustain me. So it's basically more of asking and looking around for me right now. Well, I, I had some, uh, some savings in Juba because I was doing some private kind of business when I was there, uh, farming particularly. And uh, I, stu I still do have my parents support. Uh, they do send for me some money once in a while. So that's how I sustain myself here. That's yeah, we are going to Makerere University right now for the sh show with the Milege band. And I'm going to... Uh, yes, I do write poetry uh, and I do write songs and uh, I do play guitar. And uh, I've learned it from home, like all, all my family members almost play, like my mother's sisters, my brothers. So it's, it's like a culture in the family. Given the fact that I've, I've come here and I'm not still working at the moment, so I'm engaged in a lot of cultural activities. I do, I do go to cultural centers, different cultural centers. And I got to also know people who are in the same field, doing music or doing poetry. So I got I got engaged, I got involved with them. And so once in a while here, I, I do that in in a larger crowd more, more than it's more than just being a hobby and doing it in the house. From, from what is around me, so it does improve me. Like when I come, when I sit down to write, it's it's definitely because I've seen something. It's because I've learned something. It's because I've grown, you know, one one step bigger. Every day is is a learning process. Every experience is a learning process. So when I put it down, 
it's like expressing it out. It's also like, for me, deep down, it, when I express it out, when I let it out, I, I feel more attached, I feel more understanding, and I feel more growth as well. So it's not only just the feeling now that I get or the learning that I get. So putting it out there opens me more. And now they're running wild and breaking hearts. Your heart is a rake with so many stitches. You're hurting, you're bleeding, you're killing your own being. Addicted now to that sweet sharp pain, inhaling the poison of rejection in your blood, hardening and growing cold in sight. I've lived somewhere else before coming back to South Sudan. And uh, just the feeling of belonging and relating to people like, I just love the people, I love the environment, I, I love everything about South Sudan. <laughs> Summer is very, very shy. I'd love to go back to Dubai. Oh, and this is a smaller boy. Which one is a smaller boy? When the shooting started, it was, you know, I, I told you there was bullets in my own house. There was bullets falling in the, in, in the compound, on the roofs. So it, it's definitely not safe. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to go where the shootings, definitely. The way it happened lately, when I moved here, it was, it was rampant. So if only the shooting would stop, it would be more, more safer, for, not only for me, for everybody. Because there are still people there, you know. So basically, I would like to see that it stops. Peter here. Peter I don't know, I cannot predict the future in 20 years, but maybe as a mom I'd love to see my daughters grown, relate, have friends, you know, have also the sense of being at home and feeling belonging the way I felt great as well. So more more development, just like it already has started. I just, I just see it growing. I see South Sudan growing in 20 years, becoming more, more, more developed. So what are they playing with, Maya? See? What are they playing with? So, what gives me the daily motivation? What keeps me up? Are my daughters to begin with, like? I want to always see them good. I want to always see them well. And my family in general as well. And my country. So, these three things basically keeps me motivated and keeps me moving.